Hello guys, here I am working on my 1959 Series 2. Put in a, um, made my own uh, booster bracket for my pedal box. This is using the original pedal box. Upgrading it, up adding a booster from a Series 3 and a 109 master cylinder from a series three and adding it adding a second line to the um adding a second line to the uh, system the braking system so this is the front this is the rear um keeping the original reservoir for the for the you know clutch and brake system now i eliminated one of the inner uh, cylinders that were that used to separate the master brake and master cylinder and I've uh, dedicated it solely to the um, the clutch so this is the reservoir for the clutch itself um, I've done a series of brackets you know configuration I'll show that more in detail later on in the video um, I still have some little issues with flexing that I got to do some bracketry and some gusseting but uh, overall it's working now uh, I had to pilot a new hole on the intake um, for the vacuum on the booster but I've been having some issues um, actually adjusting the brakes and every time I adjust my brakes and go out for a drive they feel fine and then all of a sudden they lose they, the floor goes down and it's hard to um, get a pedal I have to double pump um, because of the, the something going on it's like not ratcheting correctly so I started to take these apart um, here's your ratcheting adjustment you know, have another one here. Um, you can tell it's quite worn. Let me see if I can focus it. Um, you can see that it's quite worn. So sometimes it clicks and it does a pretty good job at holding, but you know, they seem to not move a little bit as I drive down the street, down the road. It's kind of, so you can see it's all pretty much very worn out. Some areas was actually worse. The front was pretty bad. Um, so I bought these, this is a replacement, um, I believe I'm not, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Brit part, Brit part, part, um, and it's pretty bad, it looks like it's, looks like it's a stamp piece, um, it's not very straight, it looks like it got punched from this side, and then it's tapered on this side. It's not really straight. The ratcheting notches are pretty bad because of the zinc plating on there. I don't like it. So it is added to these are I think these are a pain in the rear end to get to. Um, so. I decided to try to refurbish it. It's nice, they're still nice and tight. So it's not like they're loose and they're, and they're losing position. Um, so that, that's a good thing. By the way, these are Series 3 vacuum plates. Um, I converted to a one cylinder, modern Series 3 cylinder back here on the, on the Series 2. Um, but I decided not to use these. Um, seems like they're going to be a pin in the butt to put in. It seems like they're not really solving anything. So I'm resorting to my good old buddy, my handy dandy, you know, Dremel. With a tapered stone on there. So I'm going to go in and, and regroove. I'm going to go in and regroove all of these. And I'll show you what I've done. 
already on this side. See if I can focus. There we go. So I've gone in and you know started. So I started on this end at the beginning. And then just work my way up just slowly. Uh, it takes a while, but I think it really just beats um, trying to remove this here, remove the uh, the techniques with press. So it'll be hard. To, I would have to probably grind these out and then press the new ones in. I see this one there yeah, got a little out of hand, but. This side, the short side, so I don't think I'll be using these. I'll be most likely using the mid-range for adjustments. Um, so yeah, so just wanted to kind of walk you by. I haven't put them together yet. I put the ones in the front already together and they ratchet much nicer now. And um, they, I could feel the actual clicks now. I'm not, I'm not guessing whether I clicked or not, so. Hopefully, um, this, this whole this whole axle had to come out. Um, this whole hub had to come out because I had a uh, pretty bad um, leak on the on the seal. Um, so I've since cleaned all the parts out and um, had to cover. Make sure you cover this if you remove the whole hub, so you don't get any of this, you know, burrs of the grinding onto your hub. Uh, and even if you do, just go in and do some brake cleaner and clean it right, right off and and uh, you'll be done and it'll be ready to go. Make sure you zip tie or use some cable or something to uh, hold your cylinder back. This one almost came all out, so I caught it out in time, zipped it in and it's good. You know, you don't want, you don't want to have to go re-bleed all the brakes and do all that. But yeah, like... You can refurbish this. You don't have to go in through the whole hassle of removing it and and to put in a crappy part in there from a brick part. So, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have replaced this in the past. I've never done the replacement before, but I figured going in, I mean, they're still nice and they're not loose or anything. So I think they're still, can give me another you know, miles, a thousand miles or more out of the little ratchets, you know. So, anyways, um, good luck. Comment below what you guys think. If you guys have replaced either, have you guys seen better replacements or what are your thoughts? You know, I right, guys, on to the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.